Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Into the Breach. I've decided to leave the pilots as they were, just because I kind of like the idea of having five movement on both of these mechs. We kind of saw that a little bit on the last mission, where I wasn't able to do exactly what I wanted, because I thought that Henry here had four or five movement when he only had four movement, but now he's got five movement. And now everyone has five movement except for the ice mech, which is fine. So let's do Weather Watch. This should be a relatively straightforward mission, unlike Defend the Train or Renfield Bombs. It's basically just kill things, and we're good at killing things. We're actually pretty damn good at killing things. So let's do it. And we also, we do need one more reactor power anyway, so. I say reactor power, I mean grid power. Too much FTL. Alpha Scorpion moves three. So you can attack either one of these buildings. The Hornet can move five. One, two, three, four, five. So, pff, one, two, three, four, five. Could attack from here or attack us if we move here. So I think I want to move here. Uh, not you. You're going to move back. <sighs> da, 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 da. Yes. I want the sen I don't want the centipede to move here and fire a shot. I want him to fire a shot through the building so I can push him. And by pushing him, probably get a kill if I can hit make him hit another unit. Okay. There's also Cataclysm, so I can knock enemies into the pit, but that might be a little bit difficult to, to manage. I think this is fine. All right, in the Aegis mech, if I punch and stand still, he'll make a shield. I hate the pod. <laughs> I hit the pod because it means we have to get the pod and save the pod. Hitting a building. Hitting a building. Honestly, this is all as expected so far. And honestly, will you kill your friend? No, the hornet will attack first unless I push the hornet. That's unfortunate. Why are you attacking your friend? You are not a good friend. Well, we could. what we could do is... Um, I was gonna say we could freeze the building, and if we froze the building, then the hornet wouldn't hurt the building, and the hornet would take a look. Uh, only one point of damage from the centipede, actually. That's not that bad. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Attack. Uh, environment. Cataclysm. Centipede's dead. Never mind. Don't worry about him. Okay. In that case, I think what we want to do is uh, probably just freeze the scorpion, punch the scion, and then f shoot the hornet over one just so that he's closer to death and not hitting any anything important. I could push him in the other direction, but he only does two damage. I guess he will kill the Scion. And if I hit the Scorpion for... No, Scorpion attacks first, never mind. Yeah, it's not very good. Too much finagling to make that work. Wait a minute. We want to freeze the Alpha Hornet. Why? Because I can get the pod, kill the Scion, punch the Scorpion to flip him, he won't be hurting the building, and then I can just freeze the Hornet. And I like this because it gets me the frickin' uh, pod, you know? I could freeze him, or I could flip him. I'm gonna flip him. And that guy's dead. Okay. That's fine. And honestly, the um, Hornet is dead if the Cataclysm makes it that far because the ice is going to fall into the chasm. Spiders. I hate the spiders. Oh, are you kidding me? I always leave my units, you know, one tile apart from each other so they get hit by this stuff. Ugh. What are you doing, Alpha Hornet? You're attacking... The egg and your friend. You're trying to free your friend. Okay, I don't like that. I could get a kill and block a spawn, but the spider's gonna live, but I could just hit the spider and flip him. I could also freeze the Alpha Hornet and the Alpha Hornet would die. That's also an option. <sighs> I don't like this. I don't like this because I'm not going to be able to get the kills that I want, I don't think. As such, I think that we should block the spawn. Yeah, pr 
Probably, honestly. You know, block block the spawn and get a kill, and then I can focus on, you know, shooting the freaking spiderling web and then hitting and flipping the hornet so the hornet doesn't cause another enemy to spawn. Now we will get spider on the spidered on the next turn, but and there will be two more enemies spawning. So it's gonna be you, you, and then two others. And then we have to deal with the egg. Oh, I hate the eggs, man! Eggs. If only I could do three damage to you and push you onto the spawn. That would be ideal. You know what? We can freeze the hornet. That way the hornet doesn't spawn in the next turn. We'll have to deal with another egg, but it's probably in our best interest. I could stand here, block a spawn, freeze the spiderling, but then he's gonna free the hornet, which I don't want. Okay. The spider's gonna live. And I don't like that because I think killing the spider as quickly as possible is probably in our best interest, but I really want to really want to handle this Alpha Hornet so that he's not a problem on the next turn. We will get enemies spawning, but hopefully they're not gonna be Alphas. We have four Alphas here already. How many more are they, are they gonna throw at us? I don't know. All of them? They're gonna throw all the freaking Alphas at us? No, hopefully not. Freeze him, freeze him. Can't deal with the Scorpion, gotta deal with the Scorpion. Yep. I don't like this, because, you know, the mirror mech's not really doing anything. Oh, crap. No, we're immune to the smoke. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to do anything lighting the ice on fire, but you know what? It freed him. <sighs> I mean, this one's going to die, and this one's on fire, so if we hit him once, he's dead. I'm going to end turn. I'm going to accept this. Because even though it did free the Hornet, we can still kill the Hornet with one hit from either the Cannon Mech or the Aegis Mech. Oh, the f I hate the spiders. At least the Scorpion's not doing anything, so I do have like an open. You're dead. I actually can kill the spiderling egg so he doesn't spawn. This is the last turn. Okay, this is the last turn. If this is the last turn, then I'm making this too much of an... I'm, I'm thinking too much than I should. <laughs> if that's the way that you would phrase that. Kill him. Save a building. Kill him. Save a building. And we're done. So we might as well just get one extra kill, even though it doesn't really matter. In fact, it literally doesn't matter. So, freeze you. We good? We got the time pod? Excellent. I'm overthinking this turn. Good. Good, good, good. Ah, I hate the spiders, man. What was the boss on this on this island? It wasn't the scion, we already killed the scion. After attacking, gain one free tile movement. That seems really good for, that seems really good for like the J Judoku mechs maybe. Because I could like pull, you know, maybe e even in the, the grav mech, because I could pull and then move off to the side so that, you know, maybe a firefly or a scorpion or something doesn't actually try to hit me. That could work. Okay. Firefly leader. Oh, Firefly. Not bad. <laughs> I like the Firefly because they can hurt themselves. The Aegis mech won't be able to flip the Firefly because it's still going to attack from both directions, but that's okay. Plus three grid defense. No, thank you. One reactor power. Do we need power in anything? Not really. So I'm probably just gonna hold on to the power, honestly. Like, I could give myself more health. 
and then put the heat converter on the mirror mech so that they can do something if they can't shoot out of their butts. Okay. Might as well. We can maybe tank a hit, because honestly the mirror mech has been kind of um, weak as far as HP goes. That's a spiderling, good lord. It's not an alpha though. And if we kill the scion, it's only gonna have two HP, so it's not that bad. I honestly think like something like this might be pretty good. I don't like though that the cannon mech might shoot a building. But I want my cannon mech up in the thick of things, you know? We can only, only one of us can get hit by the spider, which I do like. And then if the centipede tries to attack us, we can just move. And if we move out of the way, the centipede's not gonna do anything. He's not gonna hit anything. Oh, except he's gonna hit the building. So someone's gonna have to take the hit. You know what? This is fine. Destroy the fire firefly leader. It's gonna be difficult. But maybe actually not that difficult. And we can actually not kill, but do damage. Yo, this is whoa, this is a really good turn, isn't it? Here's what I'm thinking. Hit this. Pushes the firefly firefly leader into a position where he's gonna kill the scion. It's also gonna push the spider back. Uh, I can't stand here and shoot though, because I'm gonna hit the building. And I don't have the, <laughs> the heat converter, which I really need to put on the mirror mech. Hmm. I can move behind him. Have him move up and block a spawn, but the ice mech can't move down to block the shot because of the spider web. So what are we gonna do about that? We can flip him. If we shoot here and then flip the centipede, he's gonna kill the spider, which I do like. And then we can always just walk up here and kill the scion on this turn. Which I do like. Alternatively, I could move over here and then shoot. What would that do? What would that do? It would deal one, two, three, four damage to the centipede. The leader moves first, hits the scion. That'll be an effective fifth point of damage. I need to do one more point of damage in order to kill the centipede on that turn. Can we do that? I'm just trying to think if I can if I can kill the spider, the centipede, and the scion on this turn while blocking spawns. It sounds like a lot, I know, but it's an option, it's a possibility. We would need to stand here, flip, shoot, push, you'll die. Centipede will have not enough HP. No, we're gonna have to do it like this, I think. Yeah. Push me the spider. Block one spawn. Okay, so now I'm thinking how do I do as much damage as possible to the Firefly leader? Well. If I shoot here, whoops. Shoot here, it's gonna push the Firefly leader up so he's hitting the Scion. Now I don't want to kill the Scion. And if I flip the centipede, he's gonna kill the spider. Where does the mirror mech go? What does he do? I could shoot the firefly leader. If I push him into the water, he'll, he won't shoot, which is not what I want. So I guess what I do here is shoot the centipede to kill him? No, because I want the spider to die. The spider is the most important thing that needs to die. 
All right, well, how about something different? How about I do this instead? Gets two kills. I can still walk over here and flip this guy. And I can still push the Firefly leader up, but it doesn't really do a lot of damage. Like, what I really want to do is this. I want to shoot the Firefly leader, but it's going to hit the building. But there's no way to prevent that currently because the ice mech is webbed because of the freaking spider lord who needs to go. I think this is our open. I guess I could block a spawn and take the hit from the centipede, take two damage and get acidified. Blocking a spawn seems nice because then I could spend more time killing the firefly leader. I think we need to do that. I think we need to take our advantage now. Even if that means taking damage now. Could also freeze him, but I don't want to freeze him. You might as well get the kill. You can't really do anything else. That can move through enemy units. Sure, get the kill. We're blocking spawns. We are gonna get hit by the acid, but I think that's okay. We have to kill the leader though this turn because we're gonna get swarmed by enemies soon. And we can kill him super easily. Just by punching him, I think. No, he's got a lot of HP. Can't punch him. And you're hitting a building. Lovely. You stand there, block a spawn, you stand there. No, 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 you stand there, you stand there. Shoot him, and then we can shoot him again with the ice mech to kill the Firefly Leader on this turn. Sure, I mean, sounds good to me. We're gonna take three points of damage. Good God. How about instead, <laughs> we shoot the Firefly Leader in a position where we can hit him. Oh, but he's not gonna die because we're not gonna do enough damage to him. But we don't nearly kill our own tank, which might be good. Huh, it's a tricky one. I mean, we could punch him and then shoot this guy and then block a spawn and go down to one HP. That'll suck though, that'll suck big time. Instead of having one unit on one HP and one unit on two HP, we'll have one unit on one HP. Yeah, okay, I mean, that sounds smart. <laughs> now that I think about it, <laughs> having fewer fewer allies on one HP seems like it might be a pretty smart move. Let's do that instead. And we can always start freezing enemies soon. You know, we can start freezing next turn. In fact, we could... No, we can't do that now. I was thinking we could uh, block a spawn and freeze, but we can't do that. You'll be down to one HP, but you can always repair to keep yourself alive if you have to. You've got good line of, line of sight, good shots. So hit him into a mountain. Punch him to death. Block a spawn. Plus three grid, oh, why is it we keep getting the grid defense on our pilots? Or did you get plus one mech move? No, you got grid defense, not good. You'll be down to one HP. And hopefully you don't get webified. You got webified, good job. Well, we need to do something about that. Firefly's not a problem. Hornet will kill the Scorpion if we can do three damage to the Scorpion. You have to repair. Shoot, get out of the way. No, we freeze. We freeze this turn, definitely. Which one do we freeze? And which one do we, um... Oh, you know what? We can freeze two of them with the heat converter. Yeah, 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 yeah. kind of like that, because we can't really kill 
So why not take two enemies out of the equation by freezing one, freezing the other, and then knocking the Firefly into the pit. Scorpion will still be alive next turn if I do that. Oh, we should probably do it like this. Why? You know what? Honestly, repair and keep blocking a spawn. Okay. You know what? This is fine. Freeze. Freeze. Get the hell out of the way so you're in a more defensible position, I would say. Heal yourself up. End turn. I could have shot myself. No, but then you would die. This is fine. There's gonna be three enemies. We have two units. Three if we can actually thaw our, uh, our friend. Oh, they're gonna do it for us. Perfect. Sweet, so we are, we're golden. Flip. You're not hitting anything. And get off my building. And you're gonna get thawed. You're gonna take zero damage but be acidified. I mean, I want you in the ice, honestly, because you're gonna get thawed when you get hit. You'll get shattered when you get shot. Nice. Good stuff. Perfect island. Achievement unlocked. Mech gains armored. Brute, dash in a line, pushing adjacent tiles away. That seems kind of cool. <laughs> but let's just get the pilot, because we can sell the pilot. We can make sure they're unlocked. So did we, did, I mean, did, did we get it? It says, I wish that there was a progress indicator, but I think we're okay. I imagine when we leave the island, we'll get the achievement. Okay, so let's spend Unstable cannon causes damage to the shooter as well as the target and pushes them both back. Ugh. I don't think we need that. Artemis. We already have a weapon. Artemis is kind of a little bit better in that we don't have to worry about buildings immune, but the weapon that we do have does more damage to multiple targets. Which is better? I don't know. Titanite Blade swings a massive sword to damage and push three tiles. What the hell? That seems awesome. And then acid tank, eh, which doesn't seem super special. If it was like mini tank, I would take a mini tank, but not an acid tank, I don't think we need that. We have a lot of extra pilots. So let's get rid of a few. Let's multiple at max level. We wanna get rid of Abe. Met games ar gains armored is nice. Might work well for the uh, for the steel judoka as well, but we can always bring him back later. Chang could work well for the steel judoka. Bring you back later. Leda plus one mech reactor plus three grid defense. Henry is probably better. I do like mech can move through enemy units. That's a pretty nice skill. So we'll dump you. We have twelve reputation. We can buy four reactor cores, or we could buy an item. Don't need a, we don't need to replace the artillery weapon that we have right now. I do like Heat Converter. I do want to give it plus one use. I don't think we need Titanite Blade. We do a lot of damage just by punching. And I do like the, the flip. Because, you know, if we don't get the kill, it still, still, it still does a lot of damage and protects us. So I think we're going to pick up, honestly, four power. And as a result of getting four power, gain plus one use of the heat converter. Is this, the, is this what I want? Affected by web smoking, moves through enemy units. Yeah, this is what I want. Building's immune. And then... <laughs> I guess more health on the Aegis mech, because we don't really have much else that we need our power for. It's kind of weird. 
Although honestly, getting one extra reactor core could mean that we could get a um, another plus one damage on the cluster artillery. How can we do that? We can sell pilots. No, let's not do that. <laughs> uh, instead, let's see if we can free up one of the reactor cores that we installed, like here. Um, what? Undo. Install. Uh, four movement on Aegis Mech? Or five movement and only one use of the heat converter. Let's do it like this. One use of heat converter. Plus one damage and buildings immune to the cluster artillery. Yeah, this seems awesome. Okay, and if we leave island, we should get the achievement. There is no try. Excellent. So we're going to go for a three island victory on the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I hope to see you here again for the next mission in Into the Breach.